Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on overview training on SAP Datasphere with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In our last episode, we talked about how to create our first graphical views in SAP Datasphere. If you have not seen that video, I will attach the link in the description of this video for the previous episodes. In today's session, our focus will be to connect our SAP Analytics Cloud account with SAP Datasphere with live data connection. So we have used the SAP Guided Experience accounts, which are free accounts in the previous episodes. And now we, it's the time that we build a dashboard using Analytics Cloud with Datasphere. So we would need a live data connection so that the data exchange can happen from Datasphere to Analytics Cloud live in action. Before we start today's class, Please smash the like button, share and subscribe this channel so you will get notified with latest videos. If you are looking forward for an end-to-end -end Datasphere training or a corporate training on topics like Fiori, S4HANA, CDS, OData, Datasphere, Analytic Cloud, BTP, Cloud Workflow, do not hesitate to write us back to contact at anubautrainings.com. Your one-stop solution for all the technical trainings. So let's get started and see how can we connect SAP Analytics Cloud account with SAP Datasphere with live data connection. Get the fuck out of bed, bitch, go. Get up, get up, I they got gold. Time to wake up, bitch, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up, get up. But I want to do a connection of our analytics cloud account and data sphere account. So last class we set up the analytics cloud account so we already set up our analytics cloud account along with the sap data sphere account so both the accounts are already created so we would like to go ahead and connect today our sap analytics cloud account which was created as guided experience and we would like to basically connect it with our own data sphere tenant yeah. that is what we want to achieve so i will switch over to my SAP Analytics Cloud account, which I've created as a user experience account in the previous episode. And I want to connect my SAP Analytics Cloud account with my Datasphere account. So the very first thing you need to understand, what is the name of your Datasphere account? And what is the space name? So this is the user ID and this is the space ID. Both are coming here. You can also go back to the space management and check the same. Yeah, you can go back and check the same, okay. You can come back and check the same. So you can see this is my space ID. It never changes. You see, it is hard. It is grayed out now. You can't change it. So what you do is now you will use this space ID or the user ID. So in fact, you should use user ID, yeah, which is in in this case is same. So we take the user ID, we copy that, and we go back to SAP Analytics Cloud account. And here we go to this option called connections. And here we will create a live data connection with SAP Datasphere. So we click on plus button. We choose connect to a live data, SAP Datasphere. And here we will give the name. Now remember, if you use the SAP Experience option to create your Datasphere and your Analytic Cloud account together, you must choose the name here, same name as the username of your Datasphere account. Because this name will be used to do single sign on We put that, we put a description, Anubhav Data Sphere Live Connection, anubhavtrainings.com. And now we put the host. So we switch over back to Data Sphere. We copy just the host name, bring it back over here. 
remove the slash, remove the HTTPS, put the port number 443. That's a default. That's a default. And you see it is showing single sign on. Let it be. So what it does, it will basically take this name and it will search the SAP experience accounts in this particular data center. US 10 is the data center it has given me. So in that it will search for this user and it will automatically do a single sign on. Provided that in another tab you have already signed on. This is mandatory. In the another tab you must already sign on with your user ID, the same user ID in another tab of same browser. Yeah. Yeah. I would request you to use Chrome browser. Yeah. It will take the cookie, it will take single sign on and it will connect. Click OK. You see it is now trying to connect. And voila, congratulations. Congratulations everybody. You see a live data connection is created between Analytics Cloud and SAP Datasphere. Fantastic. Fantastic. Awesome. So this is how we can connect Analytics Cloud account created with the guided experience with SAP Datasphere account with a live data connection. And soon in the upcoming episodes, I will teach you how to use one of the analytical model or data business uh, business layer models in SAP Analytic Cloud to build dashboards and reports. Makes sense. Makes sense. This is how we do the connectivity. Very, very important. So please follow that and kindly do the connectivity so that it will be smooth for a smooth experience for us to build the dashboards. All right. So thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of SAP Datasphere. As usual, please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on SAP Datasphere, SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP BTP, UI5 Fury, or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud. So do not forget to visit www.anubavtrainings.com. Also shoot us an email on contact at anubavtrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of SAP. With that, Anubav signing out. Once again, thank you so much and I will see you in my next episode.